have last night, uh, what particular was working in that game? Well, usually when you have a when you have a pretty decent outing as a starter, it's always it's always uh, about your fastball. If you can command your fastball, you know, down, down and away, down and in, any, anywhere, you, you're probably you're probably gonna have a good game. Looked like you were commanding everything. Really, did you feel that way? Uh, yeah. I mean, there was there was times where my uh, some of my spinning stuff got a little out of control, but I mean, you can't ask for everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> but. You know, for the most part, everything felt really good. Uh, I've been working on some stuff with Mace, so um, it's been really coming together these last you know, couple weeks. So I have a really good footing on what, what we're trying to do, what we're trying to accomplish, and uh, it's just been feeling good lately. Yeah, is there a common theme here the last three games, or is each one kind of its own where you have to figure out what's going on and battle your way through? I think it's just a matter of just building. You know, you, you want to go into a, to a start and accomplish something, and you want to do it. And if you do it, you move on. You don't sit there and try to dwell on something. You Oh, I, this didn't really work, so I'm going to go back and work on it. Well, you can't really dwell on it. So as long as you just keep moving forward and want to get, get better and better, um, that, that's the way to go. Um, you can't really, you know, focus on negative stuff all the time. You just focus on your strengths. Talking with John Van Benscoten, who got the win last night, and uh, as far as a couple things I wanted to ask you about the mental approach, obviously the strike zone was not huge in last night's game. When you start to feel that a little bit against you, how do you get yourself back on track? Well, I, I you know, I have the best view in the house other than the, than the umpire. He was actually pretty, pretty generous. Yeah. I mean, there were... There was one pitch that he missed. It was the first hitter of the game, and obviously everybody saw it. And you know, he admitted it to me, and, and we moved on. And, and but the thing is, is that with, if if we sit there and complain about it, well, then we get less. You know, yeah. so I think everybody is to the point where we're playing well, and you know, we're we're getting to the point where we don't have to worry about umpiring. So. You know, later in the game, I think I think I got a few more pitches than I would than I would have if I would have complained about it or if anybody would have complained. So, I th I think our approach is you know we control the game. We can't let the umpires you know control our mood out there. And and, and I actually think Tiny did a pretty good job behind the plate. I, I mean I know some people booed some pitches, but I saw it and <laughs> some of them were balls and they gave strikes. So I, that's what people a lot of people didn't see that. So. Um, I, I, I thought it was pretty fair, actually. I, I guess I was going on the booing. I, I guess I, I was dwelling you on were, that. No? Yeah, you're buying into the hype, all the crowd. You're buying into the hype. People have no view. But, you know, that's the crowd. That's good. They were good last night. They were loud, and I, I heard every word they said. It, it was it was kind of neat last night. They were, uh, they were very into, they were into it. Yeah, as a guy that's pitched in the major leagues, I mean, even in, in when you're back in the minors, how good does that feel coming off to an ovation like that, even though it's not – you know, forty thousand. It's it's four thousand. It doesn't matter when 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 ten people can appreciate what you did. It's just as good as ten thousand. And uh, it, it was it's uh, it was a very big thing for me. I mean, it, I don't think I've done that. I mean, in, in a few years. So it felt really good, no matter if it's in York, Pennsylvania, or in New York City. It really doesn't. It really doesn't matter. The satisfaction is is that people appreciate what you did today, and that was that was really fulfilling. The other thing I wanted to ask you from a mental standpoint and staying tough, those couple of starts where it seemed like everything went against you and you were making good pitches and they were getting crappy hits and everything, <laughs> uh, how, how do you stay the course? How do you stay positive like that? Because uh, the funny thing was I was executing my pitches, and that's about all you can do. If, if, you, if you go in and, you know, I, I wanted to throw a sinker down and in, and it happened, and he got a single, well, if it was on the ground, well, that's what I wanted. But it was just unfortunate it wasn't going at guys, and you know that's going to happen. When you know my, I'm trying to pitch to contact, I'm trying to get into the later innings, you know, keep my pitch count low to save the bullpen. So, you know that that stuff is going to happen. And, but if you if you get over it and realize that it's just you know it, it, hopefully it's a fluke. But you, that next that next out is just going to be that much better. I mean, whether it's karma or whether it's mental approach, it's you know, you just got to get over the fact that you know that stuff is going to happen. Well, JVB, a great job last night, and uh, let's profile you a little bit further here. Uh, tell us how you ended up coming to York. How did this situation come up? How did you end up landing with with this team? Uh, it's kind of a long ordeal. I was actually. Um, my buddy of mine, he actually plays for Lancaster. He started with them, uh, TJ Beam, and he said, "Hey, you know, this guy's been home. He hasn't, he hasn't been, you know, 
and he wasn't with anybody in spring or anything like that. So uh, I, I think he started talking to Butch and then uh, Butch Hobson, the manager from Lancaster. And then, uh, you know, I was talking to him a few times. He said, okay, you know, if the spot doesn't open up here, you know, there'll be a spot for you, for you at York. So I'm, I'm just I'm just glad that Etch had a spot for me here. And, and so far I'm enjoying, you know, this 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 city and this, uh, this team. It's a... Uh, it's, it's pretty uh, entertaining, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, so I've heard. And now, nah. are, do you get the brunt of the uh, of the stuff, or do you dish it more so? I dish. And who's who's your favorite target? Would you say? Oof. It's it depends on the day. Yeah. Lately, it's been Eric Iman with the putter throw. <laughs> he's, he's been he, but lately he's been happy hit boy. So uh, he's been getting a lot of hits. So he's really happy. Um, he's not happy when he doesn't get a hit. And if a pitcher isn't good, they should retire. If he doesn't get a hit, that means the pitcher isn't good, according to him. But, well, you know, it, it, I think it changes. I think I migrate. I, I don't know. I, don't, I think, but I'm on, I'm on him pretty hard. But the funny thing is, is that he takes it, he, he dishes it back to me very, very good as well. Um, last night he got me a couple of times during the game. Yeah. It's pretty funny. <laughs> on what? Can it be? Can it be shared or not? Yeah, yeah, it can be. There, well, one word can't be shared, but I can give you the. Well, was that a play? And this is the guy stole second base, and he and he was complaining to the umpire that he tagged him on the foot. And I said, "Come on, Eric, you know, you give him the ball. He, he, he was safe. You ta if you tag him on the foot, he was on the bag." And he goes, "Shut up and pitch." <laughs> I, I think it's great, though, how guys get angry, they throw their bat, yet you guys make fun of them. It's not like you're staying away from them. Yeah, it's really funny when you can have a team where if a guy gets jammed, we, we have a sign in the bullpen that says, jam, for the, for, uh, for the song. It's, it's better that we can make fun of each other. It, it, makes, uh, it makes everything a lot more lax, a lot more loose. And in, just in case we lose, it we get over it instantly because we're all over each other all game and you, you better be on your toes because everybody's watching everything it's hilarious <laughs> is this the b best group you've been around i mean not not that you want to compare to every team but is this about as good as it it's, gets by far it's yeah. not even close i mean it, you, you got the feeling like everybody's fighting for the same thing and when you go to philly ball sometimes that's not true yeah but uh you know, this is this is this is fun ball again. It's just it seems like I'm back in college, but we're a bunch of men and we know where to draw the line, but it, we always cross it. So, <laughs> <laughs> can you pinpoint where that comes from? I mean, does it start in the manager's office with Edge? Does he set the tone, or is it leadership on this team? What do you think? It's everything. I mean, a team is a team. It's it's a very complex thing. It's just like winning the World Series. And some people win the World Series and they can't explain why they they just did it. You know, uh, it's you need a good group of guys in the bullpen. You need a good group of guys starting. You need a bunch of good guys. You know, you need good catchers. You need good. You need good. You know, you need good personalities. You need. I mean, you need a good, a steady mix. You need quiet guys. You need guys that are. You know, you, you just it, the mix is the best. But the best part is if you can sit there and know where everybody's coming from and accept everybody's opinion. That's that's the goal. So. It, it's fun. It's been fun so far. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. And on field, are you starters feeding off each other? I, I think we we help each other a lot in the pen. Like you know, I'd come in, and I, you know, I, or, or you know, I come in from between innings and I ask Thurm, you know, hey, you know, what'd you see that inning or this and that. We we accept each other's criticism, um, and we accept each other's like gratitude. You know, hey, that looked good. Hey, you know, we're we're not afraid to 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 be honest with each other, and 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 that. That obviously helps out, and, and you know sometimes back in the past it didn't really happen because I mean the big leagues is such a it's such a like big time you know platform that everybody is just crawling and scratching to get to. But here it, the goal is to win, and it, it's just, it's a different overall feel, and it's it's uh, it's working out right now. We're doing we're doing well. Yeah, talking with John Van Benscoten. All right, how many how many nicknames oh do you have? Well, how many cars are in this parking lot? <laughs> Thirty. <laughs> you you want to rattle them off? Uh, about half of them I can't even say. Yeah. Uh, you know, you got JVB, VB, V, JV, Van Ben, uh, Scooter. That's a good one. <laughs> 
Van Ben Van Ben Beesbrook. Uh, Van Ben Schlotsky Van Ben or something. Uh, you can just pretty much butcher my name, and it's a and it's a uh, and it's a nickname. And you'll be close to getting a ride, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, or just go Van Ben. Mm, that's good enough. <laughs> Well, we, we do try to... There's a few times I just can't get it all out in time, so I go with JVB, and that's fine. Solid, yeah. solid. And, and, of course, the other thing I wanted to ask you about, being the hitter in college, uh, can you still do it? I know you had the shoulder problem. Is that better now? If you got in there, would you be able to swing it? Probably not. Really? I mean, it's not like riding a bike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can get back in, you know, if you, if you don't drive for a few years, you can get back in there and drive, but <laughs> hitting the ball is pretty, it's pretty tough. <laughs> From a from a physical standpoint, though, is the shoulder healed? No, I mean it's it's arthritic and it's and it hurts. Uh, you know to just do you know do you know s swing like that. You play golf. You know it might hurt here and there. It's possible. I'm not, I, I don't. I won't nearly have the pop, but you know I have the, I have the eyes. I know whether it's a ball or a strike. <laughs> and yeah. they're not blue, so you can see during the daytime, right? Yeah, that's, that's true. I, I guess I guess that that just came out that if you have blue eyes, you're destined to fail. So I apologize, all you blue-eyed guys. <laughs> well, uh, does it bother you when you pitch? Is it okay now? Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's just it's just a little limited with the range, but I I, it, I do not feel it at all when I pitch. Now. What about when this pitcher's BP finally finally happens or home run derby? You know, I'm, I'm actually really nervous because I think these guys really think I'm going to do something, yeah. and I'm, tr I'm trying to play my hand up a little bit, get them all to bet on me, but I'm going to tell my real, real friends to bet on somebody else. <laughs> uh, gotcha. <laughs> all right. We got the inside scoop here. Yeah. Uh, all right, JVB, let's wrap it up. W what do you uh, What do you do away from the field? What are What are some of your off-field interests? Uh, I, I, I try, to, try to get on the golf course as much as I can. Um, I watch a noxious amounts of television. If there is a reality show with uh, women acting terrible, I'm watching it, except for <laughs> the real world. I think that's distasteful. Uh, but my wife is a big fan of the housewives, and I watch every one. And if any housewife is watching right now, yeah. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, reality TV is fun. You know, all the late night, you know, all the late TV shows I watch. Um, pretty much if it's on television, I have seen it. Reality? Do you watch The Bachelorette by chance? Yeah, that, that's another one I'm forced to watch. Really? Um, yeah. I mean, if you go on TV to try to find somebody that's pretty, I don't know, look at the big picture, you know? Does yeah. it look right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Just my opinion. Well, since you admitted it, I had been saying that Zach here holding the camera, I've been saying on air every night that he has to run home and watch The Bachelorette. In reality, it's me because my wife forces me to watch it too, so we're in this together. You know what? But it's but they, they you know people accept that you can actually admit that when you have a ring on your on your finger, right. you can actually admit that you actually do watch them. <laughs> have you really been watching this season? I haven't been watching okay. it late. I you know once baseball season starts, I pretty I lie. You know obviously the shows happen during game time, so yeah. and you know the Yorktown Hotel doesn't have TiVo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, off field uh, or, or other sports, who do you root for? I know you. Been a, had a Bengals hat in here the one day. I, I am a, a huge Bengals fan, uh, obnoxious Bengals fan actually. But uh, lately, I they have those. They're they're only in Cincinnati. Oh okay. I, I but uh, the other day I was driving and I did see a Hootay Hootay mobile. It had Bengals Bengal magnets on the side and the license plate said Hootay K. Hootay, if you know, no, it's a chant that we that they say only in Cincinnati, probably nowhere else in the world. But yes, I am a large fan, and I discontinued my season tickets this year because I'm happy with the owner, <laughs> as, as is everybody in the city of Cincinnati. So, uh, you know, I'll be a fan, but, you know, I, I won't give him my money this year. Okay. Is, are you in V-Hay, Bengals fan? I know he's they, from Cincinnati. Yeah, the funny thing is, is, you know, it's so it's it's really tough to be a Bengals fan. It's really hard to argue your case, yeah. but you just say, oh, well, I'm a fan because I, I live there and I'm from there. And I mean, honestly, is it really hard to be a Steeler fan, a Cowboy? Fan? Is it hard to wake up and know that there's probably billions of other people that are on your side? It's 
actually why I hate them. I, I, that's why. I, I mean, I don't hate them. I just say, come on, is it really hard to argue your case? 600 Super Bowls you guys been to, is it really that hard? No, I'm, I'm with you on that. And by the way, yeah. Eric just walked out here. So Clark here's, Kent. Here's your in chance. The, <laughs> Clark Kent in the flesh. Clark, get over here. Check out this hat, man. <laughs> See, okay, what this? What should this hat maker do? What hat? This hat maker? Yeah, who made, whoever made this hat, who, what should they do? I think it's for a child, so it doesn't fit my head. Oh, I didn't know it was for a child, but you, you put it on yourself like you were going to wear it. Yeah, because I look like I'm in college with the hat I wear during the game, so I figured I'd try to mix it up. Right, but okay, but I, I, I was looking. I was looking for the this hat. This hat maker should retire. Oh, no, it's still a good hat. Yeah, it just doesn't stop in the middle. You know, you know uh, the basis for yeah, retirement. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so what was what was all what was that all about? That second base when the guy slid in and stole, and, and you swore you. you tagged him and hit him on the foot and I was like come on Eric what did what, what you say after that I hit him on the foot uh, yeah you hit him on the foot but he was safe but what, what did you say after that one to you yes I said just turn around and pitch <laughs> see see there's one word that we were forgetting and, and we, should, we, should, we should definitely omit it in uh, this please piece. turn around and pitch <laughs> oh yes, please please turn around and pitch so nice of you all right. Well, Eric beat it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Johnny. It's it's been your show. Thanks for interviewing him, though, and and thanks for the time. Great job last night. All right. Thanks you. I had fun. You're <laughs> awesome, man. <laughs>